Hello YouTube viewers and subscribers. I have decided to change my charger for lithium polymer batteries and this thing got my eye. I found that on uh, Banggood. You can see I will put the link uh, in the video description and it just arrived today within a week from EU warehouse of course. <clears throat> it is ISDT Q6 plus plus charger it says plus somewhere yeah q6 plus 300 watts of power capable so let's see what's in the box revolution starts here it's supposed to be some sort of manual but actually this is QR code that points you to their website where you can download manual. Some stickers. This is a screen protection, which is great. And that's charger. So this is for input power. I will connect it later. This is for upgrading firmware, roller and press button. And this is for charging your batteries. This is mains, output and balance outputs. It can charge up to 6S batteries from 1 to 6S lithium LiPo batteries. And now I'm going to hook that up and show you how it works there power it up just with with a power source so let me show you how fast it does boot as you can see it boots really fast it says battery not connected because it isn't connected I have prepared the battery here but I will just go through simple menu just let me connect this battery power and balance port right here now immediately it says how much is the battery voltage and you can see each cell voltage so this is on a storage mode i will zoom it a little bit more so maybe you can better see what's in it and when i move this roller i see some info Going up, down to screens with 12.7 uh, volt probably. What is the voltage? 11.5. I don't know what is. Ah, it's input, input voltage from my power source. This is uh, 34 degrees Celsius is temperature, and nothing has been done yet. So let's press this roller and now we have a different settings so first task is charge yeah I will leave it like that battery type you can choose from lithium high voltage lithium polymer lithium lithium ferrite this is um, standard like in your cars for standard accumulators and nickel metal hydrid batteries we will leave it on lipo since this is lipo cell voltage you can also change this but i wouldn't recommend that leave it at 4.20 cell count it's recognized as 3s and actually 3s it is and charging current 
you can change that I will put since this is uh, 1.3 milliampere hour battery I will put it on 1.3 uh, charge current and that's it so nothing nothing unusual let's start the charge you see that the display changes the color and you can monitor charging current and how many milliampere hours has it charged by scrolling this wheel you can see internal resistance of a battery and some more data I don't know that's that's the most simplest way of using this you have uh, here shows 71 percent probably of battery status that is 71 and now it's 72 percent charged and the time passed since the start of charging and it's one minute now what I would like to know I mean you can press this and stop you can adjust current so you can lower it down or maybe put some higher current depends on your battery I will stop it for now what I would like to know is yeah it doesn't have a uh, different types of charging like uh, IMAX B6 has uh, what I mean is a fast charge uh, balance charge uh, balance type charging I think th this one just has a normal charging with balancing with balancing uh, each cell I will leave it like this for now and check later to see if everything is okay okay we'll continue later now this is still charging I will zoom it a little bit and one thing I ask myself why there is no balance charging function and I realized that this thing does balancing while it charges it's not like IMAX B6 or Tonigy which uh, balance cells once they are almost full charged this thing balances cells while charging so you can see they are almost the same voltage all the time that's good because I think this will make charging bit faster this is internal resistance of the battery and as you can see it's 132 milliampere hours already charged after six minutes and it's 77 percent of battery capacity so i will just put a little bit more current this battery can accept about 1.7 and you can see it started to charge battery with 1.7 current 1.7 pairs of current uh, I will not record this while it's charging I will just cut the recording and continue when this battery is fully charged so you can see how the screen looks like and I will show you some additional settings of course as it comes to an end you can see that the current lowers 
by itself now is probably just balancing the cells because it's on 99 percent now and this is it so it's green charged everything is ready I don't know what is it's doing now it's probably just keeping the voltage of each cell but it's the end Ah, now it's done. Sorry, he was balancing the ports. And that's it. I will disconnect the battery now and show you some additional settings. When you long press this roller, you have additional settings for this device. So, maximum input power minimum input voltage backlight and volume so you can change backlight even to automatic because it has a sensor somewhere here this is volume for the follow for all tones completion tone can be single or repeat i will leave it on repeat language of course you can choose which one suits you most. I will leave it on English since there is no Croatian. Firmware sharing, I don't know, it's probably for a firmware uploading new firmware into this device. System information, you can see the hardware, whatever this is, OS, it's probably the firmware and that's it and system self-checking don't connect the battery it's just another self-checking system that you can check if everything works okay so that's i'll leave this back to high uh, that's it nothing more nothing more so uh, this is really nice little thing i'll zoom it out and uh, i like it i like it even more than my previous battery charger since you can put this one into into your pocket see how small this is great it just fits in your pocket actually <laughs> great thanks for watching and see you next time bye